Hello class, uh, Mr. Fino here. This is chapter two, section three, beginnings of agriculture. We have two main ideas here in this section. The first is that the first farmers learned to grow plants and raise animals in the Stone Age. And the second is that farming changed societies and the way people lived. Okay, so uh, during the New Stone Age, people used more advanced tools like saws and drills. So you can see here some, some of the types of tools they, they would have used. You can see here uh, in the top right, these would be uh, examples of, of, of a stone saw. You can see um, some primitive forms of, of, of drills that they would have used and just different um, tools that they would have created from stone. Eventually, people learned they could grow plants and keep animals for food and resources. So the word domestication, that means uh, when humans uh, change or use animals for what they need, right? So here you can see how a wild sort of, whore, uh, a wild sort of cow would eventually be um, domesticated and, and over time would become you know, w with breeding would come what we see today as the, the domestic cattle um, of, you know, cows, right? And agriculture is just another word for farming, right? So again, they could grow plants and keep animals for food and resources. So here are some, here's a kind of timeline that shows when the different animals were domesticated. So you can see Probably the first domesticated animal would be the wolf, which is over here, and it became the dog, right? You can see goats and sheep and then cows, um, pigs, and, you know, some of the later animals domesticated would be, I mean, this is way, 1959 is super recent, but during the ancient period, um, rabbits and camels would be a little bit later. Uh, most historians believe agriculture began in Southwest Asia, which is today, it's the Middle East. So if you look at these map here, this, uh, these maps here, this is a map of the Middle East, all, all the countries there. Um, and then over here, this is the Fertile Crescent, which we're going to learn about in the next chapter on Mesopotamia. But it was just a, an area of land that was super fertile based off of these two rivers, uh, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers that created super fertile or a uh, land that grew plants really well. Um, they use animals for things like milk, wool, food, and carrying large things. So you can see, right, cows for milk. You could also get milk from goats and um, eggs from chickens, right, wool from, from sheep. And then larger animals like camels or, or, or cows to pull things. Um, a megalith is um, an early sort of um, structure that often had a religious meaning. So this is a, a famous megalith in Scotland, uh, in England, or it's in Great Britain. And it's, it's, um, it looks like this. Okay, it's, it's called Stonehenge. And we'll, at some point, we'll watch a video on this. Um, because of the success of farming, people could focus on other activities. So because they were growing food and um, there's more, more food to go around, they didn't need to worry so much about farming anymore. Before, it was almost everyone was farming, right, or, or gathering food at least. But after farming became successful, less people could do it, and then, and then some could focus on other jobs, right? Like, you know, some people would make clothing, some people would make shoes, some people would... Right, so they, they divided up jobs and it made a society more complex. Um, people could make clothing from plant fibers, wool, or animal skin. So I guess that would go more with this, this um, slide here. Just the fact that that's another job people could do, right? But making clothing from plant fibers, wool, or animal skins. And at this point, you know, they, the clothing at this point would be getting more, more complex a little bit more modern, not not like close today, but it'd be more advanced than simply um, wool 
codes that we saw in the previous section. Uh, permanent settlements led to the development of towns and greater food production. So one of the first known uh, cities or towns was uh, Kettle Hayek, which is in modern day Turkey. And it would have kind of looked like this, um, how they, how they uh, constructed it. But the, 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 their, their structures they lived in didn't have doors. They had ladders that led to the roof. Um, and there was um, holes in, in, in the ceilings that led down into their homes. And there is a page in the textbook you could look at that kind of details it, uh, looks at this in more detail. And you could read some of the information on it. Uh, they developed religion based on elemental gods or goddesses and animals. So, um, you know, gods based on animals, gods based on things like rain or fire, or, um, you know, the elements. And uh, these early societies would have prayed to their ancestors, which is something we still do today, right? Um, for example, in, in Mexican culture, the uh, Dia, de los, Dia de los Muertos um, is still practiced. So that's a pretty common thing that we still see. And the big idea for this section is that the development of agriculture brought great changes to human society. So the key is just that with farming, that allowed society to be uh, to grow and become more complex. All right, thanks.